Hi, um, so my project is titled Shedding Light on Primitivism in Modern Art and I created a website on WordPress and it's pretty much um, done besides I really need to flesh out a couple of things near the end but essentially I really wanted this project to be used as a learning opportunity like a teaching tool website for students I'm thinking I would like like this to be used specifically in an art history class um, probably a modern art history class um, when they're talking about primitivism and um, issues surrounding that um, also could potentially be used in a methodology course um, that's kind of my big picture framework of what I would want this to be used in um, specifically probably for upper level art history classes but at the same time with that in mind um, I think that students should be introduced to it earlier in their art history career but I think that there's a fine line of um, lower level classes maybe people not really caring as much so that's uh, kind of been my issue with deciding on my audience but undergraduate art history classes are that's kind of my audience and really um, my website is going through the um, origins of the word primitive and primitivism and trying to really break that down because I think that that needs to be a good foundation for understanding anything about this and then I really look at um, kind of the journey of African art and not other non-Western art um, from their home countries, their origins, um, to Europe because of um, colonialism. So I really look at that. I include a map specifically of Africa showing how colonized it was by Europe at the time. So um, kind of providing that background framework. And then um, it goes, the project goes into um, looking at Picasso and then specifically Les Demoiselles d'Avignon, um, which is really kind of my case study, really showing like the epitome of primitivism because that painting is like when you study primitivism, like that is the painting you study. So really trying to use that painting as a case study framework for showing, visually showing students like this is primitivism and um, then from there talking about why it's an issue and I also include um, the Museum of Modern Arts 1984 exhibition uh, Primitivism in Modern Art because it juxtaposed Picasso's painting um, Les Demoiselles d'Avignon next to the masks in which he was inspired by so really showing that exhibition because it was so problematic and only giving context to the non-western art because someone like Picasso used it so really using that exhibition also as like a type of case study to really show the problems with this and then I am including something on this website uh, as like a tools for educators whether that be teachers or museum educators whoever really would come across this um, and then another section will include like the why this is an issue section and that section I really still need to go through and do um, and I'm trying to figure out how to incorporate these historical thinking activities into this section so that's really been difficult for me because I feel like I do this naturally so um, I made this whole website and I would love for it to be better um you know in my dreams it is interactive and you can click on images and it'll take you to other sites to talk about different aspects of primitivism and really I'd love to be able to show the masks that he used and give all the background information but I just don't have the time for that to create that so um, I really feel good so far about what I have and um, I'm looking forward to uh, receiving feedback on um, this I'm a little nervous because it's pretty content based and not really interactive so um, looking forward to your feedback and I hope you enjoy it um, thank you bye